The program on negotiation and mediation has a number of different opportunities for our students here at Northwestern and the basic negotiation course gives students who take it a theoretical framework and the opportunity to practice that framework in a number of different settings. There is not a class that goes by in our initial negotiations course that you aren't actually doing a negotiation. Our program really does keep up with where the movement in negotiation and conflict management is heading. And there are a number of different ways that that's happening. So for example, last week um, the students read about cultural issues in negotiation. And then they came in and did a negotiation and was kind of modeled off of the Euro Disney negotiations. One of our most recent additions to our curriculum is the advanced negotiation class, which really is starting to dig into the emotional core of what's happening in a negotiation every single time you negotiate. And so the idea was that these students were exposed to and played characters who had very different interests. Um, and you were given the opportunity to take the theory and apply it in a practical application. You might think that emotion and lawyering don't go hand in hand, but we strongly disagree with that. We believe that the best lawyers are those who are going to not only understand the law, the substance, but also understand what's happening on the people front. The skills that you learn in the program are skills that will take you very far in life. You negotiate every day, whether you realize it or not, and I think the program helps to ground what you're doing in a different way and ground how you think about things. Then we have incredible opportunities for you to expand into mediation. We not only give you the opportunity to be certified as a mediator and do mediations, but we are going to make sure that as an advocate, you know how to approach this process. Learning to be an advocate in a mediation means I understand probably better than most people how to be successful in mediation and how to use mediation to facilitate goals going forward in litigation. We know that most of our graduates are probably going to be more likely to participate in mediation as advocates rather than mediators and we want you ready for that challenge. I don't think I'm an expert yet, but I do think I have a better basis than a lot of people do and probably even than a lot of practicing attorneys do only because the field is still so new. I think the most important gift that our program gives to our law students would be the sense of who they are as a negotiator. We are not trying to create a prototype. What we do, and we have a lot of work that goes into it with our great faculty, we figure out who you are. We tape you, we talk to you, we have you journaling, we have coaches who watch you, and we help you to identify what are your strengths, what's going to make you a great negotiator, and what challenges are you going to face, and what coping skills can we give you to deal with that. We give you a framework that you can apply in every single conflict or negotiation setting, whether it's transactional or litigation, and I think these are skills that you are going to need forever and there are not many places that you can get the kind of training that we get at Northwestern.